we're going to have a look at another use for the commit function. This time we're going to use it to create a classic reverse reverb effect. On this track here, I've got a vocal line, uh, which has got a gap between the end of the verse going into the chorus, and I want to fill that gap with a reverse reverb effect. So let's just have a listen to the line, first of all. Then you built in the sand. And I guess you want... Okay, so the first thing I've done is I've just highlighted the first syllable in the, the chorus line. This is what's going to feed into my reverb plugin, and I'm going to then uh, reverse that. First of all, I'm going to use the commit function to create a new audio track. This new audio track is just going to consist of that syllable. I'm going to then feed that into my reverb plugin. So just turn up the reverb send. Let's have a quick listen to the reverb tail. OK, so that's the reverb tail we want to render. So to do that, all I need to do is just make a selection on the plugin track itself on the auxiliary return. And if I commit that, it's actually going to uh, write the audio that was passing through that auxiliary return as a new audio file. There you can see there's the reverb. And then to do the reverse side of it, I'm going to use Audio Suite to make a reverse of that printed reverb. Just going to trim the front off there to make it nice and tight. Drop it in front of the lead vocal. And let's have a listen to that um, with the original vocal. Something you built in the sand. And I guess you want to be. There you go.